Pilipino. Okay, the Miag Out Church. So, apat yun, okay? And the fourth one is the Biodiversity in Mindanao. Okay, so apat ang ating ngayon. Ikaapat dati ang rest tayo, so natanggal na siya ngayon. Oh, the answer there is amazing. 81. As a social science teacher, which should teacher nor on nor avoid? Okay. Ano daw ang kailangan avoid ng bonggang bongga Okay? Kailangan ba? Lalo yung magkasing laking susu tayo sa iba. I joke lang. Abreast with all other issues. Kailangan ba magka... Alam mo ang ibang issue? Yes. Okay? Letter B. Appreciative of change? Yes. Facilitator of learning? Yes. As a second stage? No. Hindi ka nagwawala-wala doon. So what is the answer is? Day-day. Next number. Number 82. Governor General Narciso Claveria was responsible for the what? Okay. Si ano kaya ang kinikinigsen na ni Narciso Claveria sa history ng mundo? O ganito lang yan. Hindi pwede guys ang tobacco monopoly. The tobacco monopoly was from uh, si Basco. Pag Basco ang tanong, tobacco. Eh, sino ano yung, Basco, uh, ano yung tobacco? Kay Basco. John Basco, tobacco monopoly. Okay. Next. So, ang sagot natin dito. The answer here, Claveria Spanish surname by Filipinos. Spanish surname by Filipinos. Oh, uh, ask yourself, kung ang apelido mo ay Spanish surname, baka ikaw ay, ay napangalanan ka yung lolo at lola mo. Pumipili sila dati niyan. For example, ako, ang apelido ko ay De Leon. Ang middle name ko ay Zuniga. Ang middle name ng nanay ko ay David. At ang natay ko na may Perez. So lahat yun ay Spanish. For example, Alvarez. O, oh, ba? Mga ganon. Like, for example, pupunta sila sa isang lugar, pipili lahat ang taong bayan doon ang apelido. Yeah, kung ikaw ay taga-romblon, karaniwang apelido doon ay letter F. Why? Kasi nagpunta doon si Claveria, may listahan niya mga letter F yung nadala niya. Okay? So mga Faa, Foyos, Fukis, mga ganon. Okay? So yun yun. Next. Ayan siya. Nangayayat siya kapabigay ng mga pangalan. 83. Nasabi ko na yan kanina. Whose philosophy gives prominence to faith in understanding the existence of God? Na pinipilit isulat kanina sa ano? Sa board. So, nasagot dyan, it's St. Augustine. O, bukod kay St. Augustine, sino isa kanina? St. Thomas Aquinas. Very good. O, ayan. O. Number 84. Sino daw sa kanila ang kumalaban sa mga Amerikano? Yun ang tanong. Sino ang kumalaban? Sabi kasi, most vocal against foreign of the American. Sino yan, guys? Question. Si Manuel L. Quezon ba ay kumalaban sa mga Amerikano? Yes or no? The answer is, no. Because he is the first president of the Commonwealth that's a regime of the Americans. So, hindi na naman si Manuel L. Quezon. Yan ba si Jose Laurel? No. Jose Laurel is the puppet president of the Japanese. So, hindi rin siya. So, ano na ngayon? Rector Arellano. Rector Arellano. The answer is, Claro M. Recto. Tandaan niyo lagi sa board. Kapag ka kumakalaban sa mga Amerikano, it's Claro M. Recto. 185. What is the biggest continent among the seven continents? What's the biggest, guys? The smallest is South America. And the biggest is? Asia. Very good. Tada! O oh, Asia. There. The biggest is Asia. Africa, ikalawa. Anong bongang bongga. Pinakakon sa South America. Tingnan yung population. Asia got 4 billion population. The biggest, uh, the most populated is China. China, okay? China with around 1.7 billion. Okay? Followed by India with 1.2 billion population. O, oh, ba? Ang pinakakonti po, tignan nyo, Antarctica. 4,000 lang po ang tao dun. Gusto nyo po ba dumagdag? Ayan po. Antarctica na bongga bongga. Opo. Lima na ano lang. Antarctica is nagiyalo, tama ba? Nagiyalo ang kamatis. Okay, go next. Civilization is where large ideas and tools as well as human settlements flourish. Where do historians say civilization had first born? Ah! Ano daw ang sandaw sa mga yan nagsimula ang ano? Ang mga civilization, guys. Is it China? O ito lang ha. Pag may civilization, ang unang yung natandaan lagi, pag sinabi civilization, dapat meron siyang ilog. Okay? Ilog. Tandaan nyo ito ha. Pag China, Yellow River. Ano yung China, guys? Yellow River. Ano yung China? Yellow River. Wag na wag kakalimutan China. Yellow River. China? Yellow River. How about Egypt? Nile. Nile River. The longest river in the world. Nile River. Jordan? Jordan River. Ang ilog Jordan. Middle East. Tigris and Euphrates. Mula sa Tigris at Euphrates. Okay. Ilog Tigris at Ilog Euphrates. Ngayon, ito na yung tanong natin ngayon. What is the cradle of civilization? Is it China, Middle East, Egypt, or Jordan? Definitely not Jordan. 
and not China. Not Jordan and not China. O, hindi sila. Sino talaga ang nagsimula ng sivilisasyon sa mundo? Actually, the cradle of civilization is Mesopotamia, which is now found in areas of the Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Iraq, and Qatar. So what is the answer here? The answer is Middle East. The answer is Middle East. 87. What is the largest country in Asia? The answer is China. China. What's the largest country in the world? Russia. The largest country is Russia. The largest country in Asia is China. Next. Oh, wait lang. Anong bansa ang may pinakamalaking or pinakamaraming islands? What is the biggest archipelago? It's not the Philippines. It's Indonesia. Okay, next. 88. Oh, sinabi ko ito kanina. What was the power to set aside? To set aside certain by the kingdom of Spain to the government. Oh, set aside daw. Set aside. Veto power. Veto power. 89. What best describes the form of government of England? Ah, Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth is the longest running or the longest monarch of history. Okay? She has been serving, I'm not so sure. She's been serving for around 67 years. Okay? See, seven years. Actually, hindi, they do not celebrate their, ano, their institutions. Why? Kasi kapag ka sinelebrate nila yung pagkakalok-lok nila dun sa trono nila, uh, kas, uh, that is a date na namatay ang kanilang father or mother. Kasi magiging uh, queen ka lang or king kapag namatay na ang queen or king. Say, uh, uh, ang, yun. So, therefore, Prince uh, William is the longest waiting heir of all time. Okay? So, yun yun. So, sabi rito, what is the answer here? Kapag king or queen, ano yon? It's called monarchy. Ang anarchy, walang government. Ang monarchy, ang, ah, sorry, sorry, ang, an, ang monarchy, king or queen, kapag anarchy, no government, ethnocracy, ethnic group, ethnic group or race, ang nandun. Demarchy is also known as democracy. Is also known as democracy. So the answer is, amazing. Number 90. Who was a revolutionary leader who refused to surrender to the Americans even after General Malbar surrendered and declared himself president and commander-in-chief of the supreme government of the Tagalog Archipelago? Oh, matapang yan. Matapang siya, sinabi niya, hindi kahit sumuko na si Malbar, hindi pa rin kami susuko. So what is the answer here? The answer here is Makario Sakai. The answer is Makario Sakai. It's blessing. Okay, next. Number 91. Which religious institution or missionaries first arrived in the Philippines? O oh, sige, paano ba yan natin? Okay. Ang pagkakasunod-sunod niyan, guys, meron tayong mnemonics dyan. That's your AF, uh, AFJ. AFJDR. AFJDR. Ayan po. So, ano na una? The Augustinians. FAJ. Okay, DR. So, that is your A for Augustinians, Franciscans, Jesuits, D is Dominican and R are you R R R yung huli okay R R shall be your Recolex yung pinaka ang ikalima natin guys is Recolex F A J D R so Augustinians they are your Miguel Lopez de Legazpi sila ang unang misyonaryo ng Pilipinas Miguel Lopez de Legazpi si Villalobos so the answer is Dede ito yung first five AFJDR Augustinians Franciscans Jesuits Dominicans and Recolects 92. Who were the aboriginal settlers of the island? Oy, sino daw ang nauna sa Pilipinas? Sino daw ang pinakauna sa Pilipinas bago dumating? Bago dumating ang mga migrants na tumawid sa dagat sa kainang balangay. So, hindi, ang tinatanong yung hindi sumakay. Ibig sabihin, nandito na sila talaga noon pa. Kasi tandaan mo, ang, ang mga, ano sabi ko na, ang malay ay sumakay sa balangay. Okay? Sila ay dumako sa may butuan na punong-puno ng ng sakay. Maliwanag ba? That is your, ano, yung balangay natin, ang bonggang-bongga. Sa butuan sila sa Mindanao, dumaong. Okay? So, basically, hindi sila malay at ang Borneo ay parati ng Malaysia so hindi din may Borneo. So, sagot dito, the answer. Sino yung original na sa Pilipinas? Original, original. Negritos. The answer is Negritos. Negritos. Sila ay dumaan saan? Sa tulay na yung lupa at tulay na yelo. Okay? That is the answer is Negritos. 93. Ay, ito, tinanong ko na sa inyo ito kanina, di ba? 
What religious institution is the only living remnant of the Philippine Revolution of 1896 until today? Yung boy pa rin ngayon. Actually, sabi ko na, tinatag sa ni Isabelo de las Reyes, Isabelo de las Reyes, or the father of Philippine labor, tinatag niya ang Iglesia Filipina Independiente. Okay, Iglesia is church. Filipina, Philippines, and Independence. The answer is amazing. The, the Philippine Independence Church, guys, is the true Philippine Church. Okay? Kasi it's a, it's a true Philippine, uh, Philippine Church kasi it follows all almost everything of the Roman Catholic Church. Humiwalay lang siya. Wala lang siyang, wala lang siyang kumpisal at nag ang pare. Walang kumpisal dahil nung mga, nung mga pa, direct sa kay God ang kumpisal nila. So, anong ginagawa? Ang, paano nangyari yon? Kasi, dati, magusumbong sa mga prayle kapag ka nag, nangumpisal sila sa prayle papapatay ang mga Kastilang Pilip, ang Revolusyonal Pilip, ang Katiponeros. So, ang ginawa nila, nag-aklas sila at nagtayo ng sariling simbahan with the Philippine Defense Church. Nag-aasawa ang pare Um, para kumpletohin ang pitong sakramento. Okay? And that is the Philippine Independence Church, also known as the Aglipay. Okay? And that is your social sciences. Okay. Our next topic is all about sciences. Sciences. So, your science is composed of physical science and biological science. So now, number 94, the Philippine lies in the black an area where many volcanoes are active. This is called the Ring of Fire. That is B, B, Ring of Fire. So, ang Ring of Fire is ma, mga may mga faults na so naka-open ang, sa mga ano, naka-open tayo sa mga faults kaya prone to earthquake lumabas ang magma sa loob. Kaya meron tayong mga volcanoes, Ring of Fire. 95, ano daw marami sa Pilipinas pero hindi ba fully developed? Marami sa Pilipinas pero hindi ba fully developed, guys? The answer is Gas. Marami tayong sun at sea. Ginagamit natin yung dancer is gas. Eh, marami na tayong gas, pwede natin gagamit. Dancer is amazing. 96. Which is an example of a non-pathogenic microorganism. Pag sinabing non-pathogenic, guys, non-pathogenic, it is not pathogenic. What is pathogenic? Disease causing. What is pathogenic, guys? Disease causing. So basically, alin daw dyan, guys, ang hindi disease causing? Letter A. Plasmodium falciparum causes malaria. So, malaria ang A. So, pathogenic siya. B. Is influenza, that's flu. C. Yes. The answer is C. Probiotics. That's, yan ang nakalagay saan? Yakult. Your Yakult. So, the answer is C. 97. Monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides are types of what? Listen carefully. We have three macromolecules. We have three macromolecules. Number one, you have your protein. Number one is carbohydrates. Number two is protein. Number three is fats. Pag sinabi natin, guys, na carbohydrates, they are also na sugar. Sugar or glucose. At ang keyword mo ay saccharides. Anong keyword natin, guys? Saccharides. So, pag may saccharides tayo, it means it is water. Okay? Ay, sorry. It is sugar. Maniwanag ba? It is sugar ng bongga-bongga. So, paano mangyayari natin sa... sa dyan? Anong trabaho niya sa atin? They give us your energy. So, carbohydrates... Energy. Maliwanag ba? Saccharides is a keyword. Next. The next one is fats. The next one is your fats. The next one is your fats. Pag sinabi naman natin guys na fats, ito naman ay lipids. Okay? This is our stored energy. Lipids are your stored energy. Pati triglycerides. Triglycerides. Okay? And the third one is protein. They are for muscle repair. Muscle repair. Para sa naman na muscle repair na to guys, Okay, example nito are amino acids and peptides. So, okay, sinabi ko na yung sagot. What is the answer yung number 97, guys? It's carbohydrates because of saccharides. The answer is day day. 98, air like food and water is an essential element in human existence. Cared by the wind, polluted air, take note of that. Polluted air called blank falls to earth, poisoning fish and destroying vegetation. Ano yung kaya yun, guys? The answer is acid rain. Ang greenhouse effect, pumapasok sa earth ang ultraviolet rays at pinapainit ang mundo. That's greenhouse effect. Ang El Nino naman guys ay extreme drought. Extreme drought with extreme flood and rain. Yes, you heard me right. El Nino is extreme drought with extreme flood and rain. Ang La Nina ay under lang ng El Nino. Ano ginagawa ng El Nino? Kinukuha niya bilang hangin ang lahat. Okay? Ang lahat ng hangin sa buong mundo. So, kasama ng hangin, pupunta doon lahat ng, ano, lahat ng mga clouds. So, ibubuhos niya sa lugar na yon na may clouds at iinit sa mga lugar na wala ng clouds. 
That is El Nino Philomenon. So, ang El Nino ay may extreme drought at may extreme rain. So, the answer is acid rain here. Next. Number 99. What are the components of a fungal cell wall? Fungal cell wall. Take note of this. Take note of this. Pag sinabi guys sa board exam na plant cell wall, the answer is cellulose. Hanapin nyo yung may cellulose. Ang plant cell wall ay may cellulose. Kapag plant cell wall, may cellulose. So yun di malamang hindi cellular cellulose yan. Kapag plant cellulose. Kapag bacteria, kapag bacteria, bacteria, peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans. P-A-P-T-I-D-O-G-L-Y-C-A-N-S. Kapag bacteria, peptidoglycans. Kapag fungi naman, or fungal cell wall, chitin or chitin. Chitin or chitin. So what is the answer here? The answer is amazing. What do you think nga guys? Kapag animals, uh, kapag plant cell wall, cellulose. Kapag uh, bacterial cell wall, peptidoglycans. Kapag uh, fungal cell wall, chitin or chitin. So the answer is amazing. Next. <clears throat> Ayun yung kaiti, no? There. <coughs> Next. 100. What is a molecule that allows plant to capture energy from sunlight? O oh, ano daw part niyo nga, no? Naga, naga ano ng sunlight. It is called chlorophyll through the process of photosynthesis. O, oh, ito yun. Photosynthesis, may sunlight, may carbon dioxide, at may water. So, kailangan niya ng sunlight para mag magamit ang carbon dioxide at water through your chlorophyll. Through your chlorophyll. Pag tinanong sa body examination, how many oxygen? Six. Uh, how many carbon dioxide? Six. How many water? Six. Six water plus six carbon dioxide plus sunlight will yield one glucose. How many glucose? One and six oxygen. How many carbon dioxide? Six. How many water? Six plus sunlight. Will you how many carbon dioxide? How, how many glucose? One. How many oxygen? Six. I will repeat that. Six carbon dioxide plus six water will, plus sunlight will yield how many oxygen? Six. And how many glucose? One. One o oh one. What will happen to a plant cell wall in a hypotonic solution? Kapag hypotonic solution, kapag hypotonic, mababa ang sodium. Ano mababa guys? Sodium. So mababa ang sodium niya kung para sa cell. Ganito yung rule dyan. Where sodium goes, water follows. What is the rule, guys? Where sodium goes, water follows. That is the general rule. Where sodium goes, water follows. Sabi dito, hypotonic. So, ano mayayari? Ma ano, ma ano mayroon? Kapag siya hypotonic, marami or konti ang sodium. Hypo, mababa. Kung mababa ang sodium niya, sabi yan ang rule, where sodium goes, water follows. Kung ito ang cell, at ito naman ang water, ang, ang solution, ano siya? Hypotonic, hypo, sumababa. So, sino mas mataas ang sodium? Si cell. So, ano gagawin ngayon ni cell? Kukunin ba niya yung water? Lala Papasok ba ang water sa kanya o lalabas ang water sa kanya? Ulitin ko. Where sodium goes, water follows. Kapag hypotonic, mas mababa ang sodium. Pag, mas, pag hypertonic, mas mataas ang sodium. Kung ito ngayon, guys, ang water, ay ang cell, ito ang cell, at ito ang hypotonic solution, sino ngayon na mas mataas ang sodium? Si cell ba o si water? Ito ay hypotonic, ito si cell. Sino sa taas? Si cell kasi hypotonic to. Maliwanag ba? Anong gagawin niya? Papasok ba kay cell ang tubig o lalabas kay cell ang tubig? Papasok kay cell ang tubig. So, ano mangyayari? The cell will swell. The cell will swell. Maliwanag ba? Kapag hypertonic naman, hypertonic, sino mas mataas? Si si solution. So, ano lalabas? Lalabas kay cell ang water it will shrink kung hypertonic. Pero ang tanong, hypotonic, the answer is day-day because it will swell. 102. An ant economy stores food in the summer, defends itself by stinging enemies, and invades a competing ant colony and steals larvae and uses them as new workers. So, ano ginagawa nila? Kinapo, uh, ini-invade nila ang ibang co colony tapos ginagawa nilang worker yung mga ano nito. Okay. Ano kayang tawag dyan? Is it defeat, habitation, succession, or niche? Hindi yan success, it's succession. Pag sinabi natin guys na ecologic defeat, natalo sila. Natalo lahat. It's called extinction. So, hindi yan ang sagot. Pag sinabi habitation, namumuhay sila. Pag sinabi succession, ito yung unang organism na wala sila, nagkaroon ng bagong organism, ay eh, pareho silang ant, so hindi yan ang sagot. 
The answer here, guys, is niche. Ano sagot natin, guys? Niche. Pag sinabi natin, guys, niche or ecologic niche, it means occupation. What is niche, guys? Occupation. Pag sinabi natin, guys, ecologic niche na occupation, ano yung mangyari sa atin dyan? Ganito yan. Okay. We have three types of occupation in this world as animals or as organisms. Number one. <clears throat> Number one, we have what we call your competition. The second one is predation. And the third one is symbiosis. Ulitin ko guys ha. Number one, what is number one guys? Number one is competition. Number two, predation. Number three, symbiosis. Pag sinabing competition, I will not eat you. But I might kill you. Ang competition, kailangan mawala ka, mawala ako, mapatay kita, mapatay mo ako, mapaalis mo ako, mapaalis kita. That is competition. May, may namatay ba? Pwede. May kinain ba? Wala. That's competition. Ang predation, dapat kainin kita para mabuhay ako. That's predation. Maliwanag ba? The third one, example guys ng ating competition is lions to lions, lions to tigers. Hindi naman kinakain yun. Pag sinabi naman natin guys na predation, the lions to rabbits. Kasi kinain yung rabbit. The third one is symbiosis. Pag sinabing symbiosis guys, may tatlong uri niyan. You have your mutualism, parasitism, commensalism. Hindi kasama ang behaviorism at idealism. Okay? Ang una, guys, ay mutualism. Pag sinabing mutualism, guys, nag-benefit ako, nag-benefit ka din. Mutualism ang tawag doon. I benefited, you benefited, mutualism. The second one, guys, the second one is parasitism. I benefit na harm yung isa. Basta may na-harm na isa may nag-benefit, it's called parasitism. The third one naman, guys, is what we call your commensalism. Yung isa nag-benefit, yung isa wala lang. Yung isa nag-benefit, yung isa wala lang. That is your commensalism. Example natin. Sige, sagutan niyo ako ngayon. Sabihin niyo ano to. For example, the snake, the snake and the mouse. Predation. How about the tigers and the other tigers? Competition. How about the worms and you? The worms and you. Parasitism. Kasi na-harm ka. Sila nag-benefit. How about your bees and flowers? Bees and flowers. They're called mutualism. Nag-benefit ang bee. Nag-benefit ang flower. How about the whale and the barnacles? Alam niyo yung whale? <clears throat> whale. Sa ulo ng whale, may manakadikit na parang suso. They're called the barnacles. Okay? Kapag whales and barnacles, guys, ang sagot naman doon ay... Comments are less. I'm very good. So, 102, what is our answer? The answer is, day-day. Next, 103. <clears throat> what are the things? Pakibilugan ng word na amoeboid. Amoeboid. So, therefore, it is an amoeba. An amoeba is very special. Wala siyang paa, wala siyang panggalaw, except pseudopods. Ano sabi ko, guys? Pseudopods. Pag sinabing pseudopods, false feet. False feet. Para maging familiar sa kaya Ami Boy, kung nanonood kayo ng Powerpuff Girls, you know Powerpuff Girls? Di ba may kalaban sila doon? Yung gang green gang? Yung mga Ami Boys? So therefore, parang sila gumalaw? Di ba gumagalong-ganong-ganon lang sila? Walang pa, walang kamay? And that is called pseudopods. So anong tawag sa kanilang ano para magbigay ng shape? Pseudofilament. The answer is blessing. The answer is pseudofilament. One of four. A toothpick can sit on the surface of water due to what? Okay. May toothpick daw. May toothpick daw. Pag nilagay ko sa tubig, guys, um, anong tawag doon? Is it surface tension or buoyancy? Okay, tignan nyo to. This is a um, bottle of water. Question, tignan nyo mabuti. Hindi siya po, no? Am I right? Pag binato ko to sa tubig, lulutang to or lulubog? Lulutang to or lulubog? Lulutang, kasi may air sa loob. Tama ba ako? Pupunoyin ko to ng tubig sa loob. Lulutang to or lulubog? Lulubog na siya. Maliwanag ba? So, sino yung lumutang? Yung air sa loob ba wala? Yung may air sa loob. Ang tawag doon, guys, ay buoyancy. Ano tawag, guys? Buoyancy. Ang isang buoyan, guys, ay lumulutang lamang kapag may air sa loob. Example, ano mas mabigat? Pako o barko? O, ano mas mabigat? Pako o barko? Pako? Mas mabigat ang pako. Ano mas mabigat? Hindi ko sabi na lumulubog. Pako o barko? Mas mabigat. Buhatin nyo. Sige, ano mas mabigat? Barko. Maliwanag ba? Kaya lang, bakit lumulutang ang barko? Lumulutang ang barko kasi may air siya sa loob. And that is called buoyancy. Maliwanag ba guys? Ang tanong sa situation natin, toothpick. A toothpick can sit on the surface of water. What is that called guys? The answer is 
surface tension. Dahil wala namang hangin sa loob ang toothpick. For example, ako, naglangoy ako sa tubig. Pag ako naglangoy sa tubig, lulutang ba ako lulubog? Lulutang, why? Kasi may air ako sa lungs ko. Pag nainom ko na lahat ng air, lulubog na ba ako? Yes or no? Possible, lumabog ka na. Pag naka, pinasuka na din ng air ang lungs mo. <clears throat> so the answer here is surface tension. Okay, next. Oh, this is buoyancy. Ayan, kasi may air sa loob. And this is surface tension. Yun lamok. Next. da da Oh, ayan. Next number. Oh, ayan. Alam nyo ba yan? In a flame test, the presence of boron in a solution is evident by what color flame? Oh, ano daw yung boron-boron na yan, guys? Oh, hindi nyo alam, di ba? Bright green, gold, brick red, or lilac. Oh, lilac de lima. Oh, titignan nyo to, guys. Sige nyo to, guys. Sige, next. Pakita ko sa inyo yung mga colors. Titignan nyo yung mga colors. There. Sige, hanapin yung sagot natin. Oh, ano nakita nyo, guys? Oh, there. The answer is, boron is bright green. See? Oh, turo natin ang boron. Ayan ang boron, nasa baba. Nasa, nasa baba, barium siya. Ayan, ito, ito yung boron. It's bright green, okay? Boron, guys, is bright green. Ayan siya. Ang susunod na bonggambong, ayan, ayan. Yung, yung letter B natin, ang tanong sa letter B natin, ano daw siya yung gold? Ang gold ay sodium and iron. Ang gold ay sodium at iron, okay? At ang brick red naman ay lithium and radium. Brick red. Take nato sa colors, ha? I cannot make you memorize everyone, pero tandaan nyo na lang kung anong sinasabi ko sa inyo, okay? Ang gold ay sodium and iron. Ang bright green ay boron. Ang brick red ay lithium and radium. At ang lilac, what is lilac? That's lavender or light violet. That is potassium. Ayan ang lilac Lilac De lima Okay Ayan ang lilac Ayan ang brick red Radium and lithium Iron and sodium And then boron is bright green So what is the answer? The answer is Amazing Okay next Which is true of metalloids? Paano ka ba magiging metalloids? Pag meron kang property Ng metals At non-metals Yan ang metalloids So the answer is D The answer is D Mali lahat ang A, B, at C Bakit? Kasi metalloids Are better than Non-metals and they are less than metals. I will repeat that. They are better than non-metals, and they are less than metals. That is, those are metalloids. 107. What are the hormones responsible for plant growth, promoting axillary bud growth in apical dome? Ito yung mga bagay na ayaw nyo sa mundo, di ba? Ito yung mga bagay na hindi nyo alam. So, ganito lang yan, guys. Unang gagawin natin, alisin nyo yung pinakakonting lumabas. Ano yung, pin ano yung pinakakonting lumabas? Abscissate. Alisin nyo yung abscissate. Alisin nyo na siya, kasi isa lang siya. Tapos, hanapin nyo yung pinakamaraming lumabas. Malamang kasama. Anong pinakamarami? Oxine, oxine, oxine. A, C, and D. Merong oxine lahat. So, wait. So, tanggal lang C. Tanggal lang ang C, tanggal na rin ang B. Bakit? Kasi ang B walang oxine. Tapos ang C may abscissate. Nandaan nyo ito ha. Everyone say abscissate. Or abscisic acid. Pag sinabing abscisic acid, it causes abscission or decidence. Everyone say abscission. Decidence. Ang abscission at decidence ay pagkalanta ng dahon. So, kaya nalanta ang dahon because of abscisic acid or abscis, abs, abscissate. Okay. Pag lumabas naman sa board examination, ang nagpapahinog sa, halam, uh, sa prutas, ang nagpapahinog sa prutas guys sa ethylene. Ano yun guys? Ethylene. Ang nagpapahinog sa prutas ay ethylene. So, ano gagawin natin? Babalutan ba natin ng jaryo or bubuksan? Bubuksan. Kasi pag binalot mo ng jaryo, mahinog siya. Kasi kapag ka nakulob siya, lalabas ang ethylene. Di ba yung nilalagay nyo saan? Sa bigas, di ba? O, oh, yun. O, oh, lalabas ang ethylene niya. So, mahihinog agad siya. So, yun yun. So, ano sa ito? Amazing or day-day? The answer here is day-day. Cytokinins and oxine. Although, giberylins is also for growth, but cytokinins is also for apical dominance in bad growth. So, the answer is day-day. 108. Ano kayang sagot nyo dyan? MNF3. That's manganese and fluoride. Oh, sige, tignan nga natin kung kaya-kaya niyo taong bayan yan. Ang sagot niyo ba dyan ay amazing, blessing, caring? Malamang hindi dede ang sagot dyan na may right. Okay, sa ayaw niyo sa gusto hindi, o oh, mga physical science, ano kayong sagot dito? The answer here is caring. Caring. Kung papansinin mo, baliktad siya. MN wala, F3 kasi nakalagay doon. Baliktad siya. Criss-cross talaga yan. So, MN3, F. Ang rules dyan, criss-cross. Okay, criss-cross. So, the answer is caring. <clears throat> okay, next. 109. Which of the following is a heterotrop? Ano ba ang heterotrop? Okay. 
Pag sinabing autotrop, you can create your own food. Ano autotrop? You can create your plant. Ang autotrop, plant. Maliwanag ba? Tatlo yan. Autotrop, heterotrop, saptrotrops. Autotrops, heterotrops, saptrotrops. Pag sinabing autotrops, auto, self, you can create your own food. Pag heterotrops, you cannot create your own food. Kakainin mo yung iba. Maliwanag ba? Pag sinabi, o kumakain ka ng autotrop. Pag sinabi naman natin saptrotrop, they are decomposers. So, autotrops, producers. Heterotrops, consumers. Saptotrops, decomposers. What do you think is the answer here, guys? Hetero. Ano ba yung heterotrops? Producers, consumers, or decomposers? Very good. Consumers. Ano ba ang consumers yan? Alzey, Ferner, Moss, or grasshopper? The answer is grasshopper. One, okay, here. Ayan siya, oh. Autotrops, plants, algae, bacteria, heterotrops, o kumakain. Wait, ano ang herbivore? Ano ang kinakain ng herbivore, guys? Ang kinakain ng herbivore ay? Plants. Very good. How about carnivores? Animals. I don't want to use the word meat. Kasi pag sinabi natin kayo sa meat, meat lang ang kinakain niya. Pero tandaan mo, ang carnivore, animals. Lahat ang ano, kahit insekto pa yan, animals pa rin yun. So, when you eat plant, herbivore. When you eat animals, carnivores. What is an omnivores? An omnivores is someone who eats both plants and animals. You eat both plants and animals. So the answer, ah, wala pala tanong, okay? The answer is omnivores. Next, 110. Dinis kasi kung ito kanina. Polysaccharides, triglycerides, and polypeptides are examples of what? Polysaccharides. Wait. Hindi pareho yung tanong kanina sa ngayon. Magkaiba sila. Pansinin nyo. Polysaccharides are sugar or carbohydrates. Triglycerides are fats. Polypeptides are proteins. What are they called? They are called macromolecules. What are they called, guys? Macro. So, what is our answer here? The answer is day day. <clears throat> Next, 111. Which of the following is a measure of pressure? Defines as 1 newton per square meter. O, ayan na. Measure of pressure. The answer here is Pascal. A Pascal is a measure of pressure or 1 newton per square meter. While a poise, while a poise naman guys, a poise is a measure of viscosity. A poise is a measure of viscosity. While atomic number is a measure of atoms and milliliter is a measure of volume. Okay, let's go to your atomic units. Pag yung atomic units, we have three types. Proton, electron, and neutron. Proton, electron, and neutron. Ano yung positive? Proton. Ano yung negative? Electron. Ano yung neutron? Neutral. Neutron. Neutral. No charge. Ano yung positive? Negative. Ano yung neutron? No charge. Very good. So the answer is amazing. Next. 112. A metric carat is a unit of mass for measuring gemstones. It is equivalent to what? O, ayan, napariwara kayo dyan. Hinulaan nyo ng bonggam-bongga. Ano kayo sagot dito, guys? Okay, the answer here is 200 milligrams. A metric carat is 200 milligrams. The answer is blessing. 113. Kingdom plantae. Ano daw ang plant dyan, guys? Are fungi plants? No. Fungi are fungi. They are decomposers. Prokaryotes? No. No. Isa lang ang prokaryote, bacteria lang. Tandaan nyo yun ha. Ano yung prokaryote? Bacteria. Isa lang ang prokaryote, bacteria. So, dalawa na lang. Caring or day day? The answer is caring. Protozoa is a protist, while magnolia day is a plant. The answer is caring. 114. Ano daw ang wala sa scientific assertion? Wala sa scientific assertion, which is not included. The answer here is hearsay. Hearsay. Hearsay is what? Sabi-sabi. Oh, 115. What do you call the damage to DNA that is not repaired and then replicated can result in genetic disorder? What is a damage to DNA? Ano kayong tawag doon, guys? What do you call the damage to DNA? When you say damage to DNA, it's called mutation. Mutation is a change in DNA. I will repeat that. Mutation is a change in DNA. What is mutation, guys? Change in DNA. That's called mutation. Pag sinabi naman natin, guys, na abnormal proliferation of cells, it is called, it is, kapag abnormal proliferation of cells, it is called cancer. 
Okay? Cancer. Pero pag damage sa DNA, it's mutation. Pag na-damage sa DNA, mo mutation. Pag dumami yung abnormal cell, cancer. Pathology is the study of diseases. Study of diseases. While embryology is the study of the zygote to birth. Mula na mabuntis ng tatay mo, ang nanay mo, at mabuo ka hanggang ipanganak ka, ang tawag ay embryology. I will repeat. What do you call the study of human behavior? Psychology. Study of diseases? Pathology. What is ano, change in DNA? Mutation. What is ano, abnormal proliferation of cells? Cancer. So the answer here is? Amazing. Mutation. The answer is mutation. Okay, next. 116. What organism would be most likely be in an Arctic environment? Arctic. Ano daw na sa Arctic, guys? O, oh, syempre, ganito lang yan. Arctic, malamig o mainit? Malamig o mainit? Napakalamig. nag ba yan? Yes or no? Yes. Kung nag yan, ito yung tanong ko sa inyo. Question. Kung nag yan, number one, nasa nag ba ang Maya? Bird. Maya bird? nag No. ba? How about crocodile? Of course not. Turtle? No. The answer is walrus. Walrus. Walang picture ng walrus dyan eh. Pero ang walrus, guys, ito yung, alam nyo yung sea lion? Sea lion? Yung kaibigan ng mga dolphins? Sea lions? Sila yung sea lion na may mahaba dito. Okay? That is your walrus. Okay? So the answer is blessing. 117. How are bats able to navigate in the dark without bumping into another? Okay? Without bumping into anything. Oh, bakit? Nakakita ba mga bats? Hindi. Tama ba? Hindi nakakita mga bats Okay? Ang ginagawa nila, naglalabas, nag emit sila ng sound. Okay? Paglabas sila ng sound, tatama to sa object, babalik sa kanila. Ang tawag doon ay echolocation. Ano tawag doon, guys? Echolocation. That is called echolocation. So, anong sagot dyan, guys? The answer is, amazing. Why? Longest answer. Maliwanag ba? Napakahaba kaya nung A. Hindi yan na type ng ganyan kahaba kung wala lang. Okay? The answer is amazing. Tada! Echolocation. Next. <clears throat> 118. This demonstrated the feeding connection between all life forms. Okay? The feeding connections of all life forms. Ano daw yan? Yung ano? Yung kinakain ng lahat. Kinakain ni ganito, si ganyan, si ganito, si ganyan. Ano kayong tawag doon, guys? That is called? Very good. That is called the food web. Food web. Very good. Pakita ko sa inyo yung food web. Ito siya. <clears throat> okay? Ayan ang food web. Kung hindi itapat natin ang arrow sa plant. Ang plant. Okay? Ang arrow sa plant. Ayan. Ang plant ay kinakain ng grasshopper. Ang grasshopper... Uh, Mali. Ang plant na kinakain ng grass... Ano? Ang plant na kinakain ng grasshopper, ang grasshopper ay kinakain ng scorpion, at ang scorpion ay kinakain ng kitfas, na kinakain din siya ng ground squirrel, na kinakain ng squirrel ng golden eagle. Kapag maraming ganon, food web. Pag isang linya lang, food chain. Pag isang linya lang, food chain. Ang tagsas isang linya, guys? Food chain. Pag tinanong sa board, ilang percent ang nakakuha ng bawat layer? Ilang percent ang nakakuha ng bawat layer, guys? Ilang percent? 10 percent. For example, kumain ako ng prutas mamaya, 10 percent ang makukuha kong energy. Okay? 10 percent. So that is called 10 percent. Okay? That's a food web. Next. 119. What do you call the taking away of life of another person without due process? Taking away the life of another person? Oh, another, wait, is it capital punishment? No. Ang capital punishment is lethal injection. Lethal injection or cilia electrica. O, oh, may due process ba yun? Yes? ba? Is it suicide? You know suicide? No. Because ang tanong, taking away of another person. Suicide is not. Okay? May culture na normal ang suicide. Japan. Why? Kasi, kapag pinahiya mo ang pamilya mo, kailangan mo mag-suicide. That is called harakiri. Harakiri. So, what is the answer? Amazing or blessing? <clears throat> I mean, taking away of another person's life without due process, it's euthanasia or salvaging. The answer here, guys, is none other than... Wait. Ang euthanasia ba may due process? Meron na wala? Oy, meron na wala? Ito ba ay ano? Ito ba ay, ano tawag dito? Um, walang due process? Meron. Di ba pumipirma yung mga doktor? Pumipirma yung pamilya? So the answer here is salvaging. Sa ba pinatay mga sina salvage? O, oh, di ba alam nyo? Sa mga damo-damo? O, oh, yun yun. The answer is salvaging. 120. A species of fish lived in a lake. When a dam was constructed in the area, a group of fish was separated and populated on a new pond. Ay, tignan nyo to. Nagkaroon ng dam. So, nagkapalit sila ng lugar. Nagkahiwalay sila ng lugar. Nung nagkahiwalay sila ng lugar, nagkaroon ng bagong 
species. Nagkaroon ng bagong species. Ano nangyari doon? Is it geographical? Chronotropic? Time? Episodic? Uh, pangyayari? Behavioral? The answer is geographical. Kasi nalipat lang sila ng lugar. Oh, the answer is amazing. Next. Okay, next number. What do you call the protein shell of a virus? The protein shell of a virus is called... Oh, hindi pa ang B. Naman, lambda bacteriophage. Hindi pwede kasi bacteria yan, di ba? May laman siyang ano ulit kanina? Peptidoglycan. So, hindi yan yan. Hindi rin siya pwede maging ano, capsomere. Hindi, hindi. Nasa loob yun. The answer is capsid or variance? The answer is capsid. From the word capsule, it is a protein shell of a virus called capsid. Oh, let me show you the capsid. There you have it. Ayun siya, nasa loob. Capsid. There. It encases the genome of the virus. There, capsid. Yan ang capsid. Ayan. Yan, yan yung buong yan. Yung nagbabalot sa kanya. Yung buong yan. Ayan. Ang ganda niya yan. Ayan. Very good. Okay, next. Sinagot ako na ito kanina. What do you call the polluted air carried by the... Tapos bumabagsak poisoning fish. What is that? It's called acid rain. <coughs> it's called acid rain. 123. In the Pacific area, a storm is called what? Is it hurricane, El Nino, typhoon, or La Nina? Okay, guys. In the Pacific area, a storm is called what? We have two answers. The answer is hurricane and typhoon. Maliwanag ba? Dalawa kasi ang part ng Pacific. Yung part na nasa kanan, Amerika, nasa kaliwa, Asia. Pag sa kanan, hurricane. Pag kaliwa, typhoon. That's why we call Hurricane Katrina and Typhoon Yolanda. Okay, so dalawa ang sagot natin. Ito lang tanong ko sa inyo. Nasaan ba tayo ngayon? Of Philippines. Ano yun? Asia. So ano tayo? Typhoon. The answer is typhoon. Pero kung typhoon, hurricane is the best answer. 184. When the North Pole is tilted towards the sun, it is summer. And when the sun shines all time, both day and night, what is it called? O pag araw gabi, walang panti. Ano daw yun, guys? Hindi, pag araw gabi, kapag araw gabi daw umaaraw. 1, 2, 3, okay, Marie. 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. Ano daw ang tawag, guys? Kapag araw gabi, umaaraw. Yun ang tanong saan. Hindi yan twilight sun. Ang twilight sun, yun yung ano, araw kapag magubok ang liwayway. So, hindi siya yun. Ang northern light is aurora borealis. Aurora borealis. That's the northern light. Aurora borealis is the northern light. Walang southern light. It's, walang summer light. It's southern light. Aurora australis. I will show you later uh, aurora. Ang aurora, guys, yun yung sumasayaw na liwanag sa langit tuwing gabi. Sa north pole tsaka sa south pole. So, ano sagot natin dito, guys? It's called midnight sun. Very good. Ang midnight sun, ito siya, ayan o, oh, um, 24 hours, meron siyang araw, tignan natin siya, ito siya. Tada, ayan ako, hating gabi ang pinituran ko pag umising ako para ipakita sa inyo. Yan ang ano, midnight sun sa Norway, ayan o, oh, hindi yan ang sun, yung isa. Ay, ako yan, nandyan ako, o, oh, ayun yung sun. O, next. Ito naman ang aurora. Ang aurora means sunrise, ito siya o. Oh. Tada, oh, that is a moving light. In the Norway or North Pole. Ang ganda, di ba? That's one of the most beautiful um, uh, phenomenon on Earth, sabi nila. That is your ano, Aurora Borealis. Sa North Pole, pag South Pole naman ito siya, Aurora Australis. Mali na kalagay. It's called, bura, pakibura siya. Okay, pakibura yung Borealis. It's Australis yan. Oh, pakitanggal. Yes. Australis yan. Sa Australia kasi nagaganap. Maliwanag ba? Gumagalaw din. Hindi yung ano, paghapon dito sa Pilipinas. Gumagalaw yung lights na yan. So beautiful talaga. Kasi ang hirap picture niyan. Okay? Ayan. 185. The Kyoto Protocol, which requires countries to reduce greenhouse emission. Ah! Oh, what are you advocating? Greenhouse emission. You are advocating what? Environmental protection. The answer is amazing. Amazing. Okay? It's called amazing. Next number. 126. What is the largest desert in the world? What is the world's largest desert? Guys, the world's largest desert is... Antarctica. Tandaan niyo yan. Antarctica is a frozen desert. Okay? So, wala Antarctica dyan. Okay? So, the second largest is Arctic. And the largest subtropical desert is Sahara Desert. Sahara. Ayan. Tada. Ayan. Ito yung mga desert natin sa mundo. Ayan. Antarctica, Arctic, Sahara, Arabian, Gobi, mga ganon. Okay, ito naman. Ito yung Sahara, the largest non-polar desert. Ayan, ako ang init talaga dyan. Okay, ito naman ang Sahara. Naku, nung pinituran ko yan, tumakbo ko agad kasi may ahas. Ito naman ang ano, 
Namib na ako nag June bashing ako siya ng saya-saya. Okay? Ayun ang Namib Desert. Doon yung Chanchan. Sa Chanchan, nakukuha natin ang tinatawag natin mga Chinchansu. Alam niyo ba yun, guys? Chinchansu. Okay? Ayun yun. Sa Central Asia. <laughs> yun yung Chanchan. Okay? Ayan. So, I think uh, that is your science. Number 127. Okay, this is your mathematics. So basically, for mathematics, you just have to know the basic rules for mathematics. Okay? So what are these? The first one is what we call the median. The first question is all about the median. So what's with the median? So the first one for getting the median is the middlemost number. Ano bang pinakagit ng numera? But there's a rule here. You have to arrange them from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. So what will you do? Oh, let's arrange them. 10, 12, 12, 14, 16, oh, 15, sorry, 15, 16, 18, 24. So basically, how many numbers? You have 8 numbers. So any middlemost number? It's 14 and 15. 14 and 15, so dalawa sila. So what will be our answer? 14 plus 15 over 2, the answer is 14.5. So, the 127, the answer is 14.5, okay? So, that's 127, okay? Next number. Next. Find the least common multiple. To find the least common multiple, you have to... Kaya nga least, hanapin mo yung pinakamaliit na number. Was the smallest number among the options? 15. Okay, question. Is 15 divisible by 5? Yes or no? Yes. Is it divisible by 2? No. Then, therefore, tanggal ang letter C. Did you get the point? Hanapin mo na sa pinakamaliit. How about the next number? Let's, next least, 35. Is 35 divisible by 5? Yes. Is it divisible by 2? No. Tanggal na rin siya. Next number, 70. Is 70 divisible by 5? Yes. Divisible by 2? Yes. Divisible by 7? Yes. Then the answer is 70. Did you get that? And that's how to get the least common multiple. Next. 129. <clears throat> This situation has no answer. Why? Napakagulo ng tanong na ito. Kasi kung titignan nyo, titignan ito ha, yung Kia car, umalis ng dalawang oras. Umalis siya ng 2 hours pass na. Tapos, umalis ang Toyota, nalagpasan pa siya. E ang takbo ng Toyota, 70 km per hour. For 70 sa unang oras, seven, dalawang oras na. Look at take note. Dalawang oras na siyang bumabiyahe. 70, 70. So, gano'ng kabagal ang takbo ng Kia car para malagpasan siya? Am I right? E, dalawang oras na yon. So, that should be less than 70. The answer here should be less than 70. Lahat ng ito ay less than 70. Tama ba ako? So, what will be the best answer? The best answer is 50. Let's just choose 50 as the nearest answer. Okay? 50 is the best answer. Next number. If the average of arithmetic mean, so let's talk about the mean. The mean, this is the mean. The x bar is equal, is, ang ibig sabihin ay mean. So mean is a summation over n. Summation over n. So given about mean sa situation, yes or no? Yes, the mean is 10. Okay, the mean is 10. Given about summation, hindi pa, pero nakalagay dyan, x and negative 5. So x Minus 5. Maliwanag ba? X plus negative 5 yan. X plus negative 5 <coughs> over, over guys, over what? Over what? So, this is over 2 kasi dalawa sila. So, let's place them into computation. Uh, Pagpalitin natin, X minus 5 is equal to 10 times 2. 10 times 2. So, what did you get guys? Uh, X, so, ganito yan. So, pag winabahan mo pa siya, Halimbawa, dito siya tataba ba? X is equal to 20. 20. So, ano gagawin ko ngayon sa 5? Pag lumipad siya rin sa kabila, will be positive or negative? Will, it will turn into positive. So, X is 20 plus 5. So, what is the answer? X is equal to 25. Did you get that, guys? The answer here is X is equal to 25. The answer is 25. Okay? That's it. So, that's question number 130. Okay, next number. 131. Which the following gives a numerical value of the population, guys? The numerical value of the population is called parameter. Okay? Take note of that. That's the definition of parameter, the numerical value of the population. The answer there is parameter. Number 132, let's talk about the variance. Pag pinag-usapan natin, guys, ang variance, we have four major steps. The first step is you have to get the mean. You have to get the mean to get the variance. Kung yung mean ng lahat ng numbers na to. Number two, you have to have, you have to subtract, you have to subtract 
each number from the mean, regardless of positive or negative. So, iba minus mo lang siya. The third step, the third step, guys, is you have to square. You have to square the difference. Diba, minus nyo. I-square nyo yung bawat difference. And number four, you will get the variance. That's the variance already. The variance, guys, the variance, the variance is the average of the square difference. That's the average already. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Isa isa natin. Una mean. Kunin natin ang mean ito. 80 plus 75 plus 60 plus 95 plus 100 over 5 will yield what? 82. The mean is 82. <clears throat> so, after you're getting the mean, guys, you have to sabi number 2. Nakuha na yung mean. Check na to. Pack. Next. Kunin naman natin, guys, ang uh, min minus sa bawat number. For example, 82 minus 80. 2. Next. 82 minus 75. 7. Next. 82 minus 60. That is 22. How about 82 minus 95? That is what? Ano bang 82 minus ano? 18. Ah, 13. That's 13. Okay? How about 82 minus 100? That is 18. So, next. Sabi dito, nung na minus, di ba? Ang ginawa, may minus ko lang siya sa bawat isa, kaya natin nakuha yon. Next. Kailangan mo naman square daw silang lahat. I-square natin sila ng bonggam-bongga. Using your calculator, we're now going to square them. So, how to square them? 2 square is 4. 7 square is 49. 22 squared. What is 22 squared? You can use your calculators, actually. 484. I'm using my calculator right now. That's 484. 13 square. What is 13 square? If you don't have a calculator yet, you can order to your uh, RA or staff for 333 pesos. Okay? That is your 13 squared. Next, 18 squared. 324. Okay? 324. So, that's the fourth step. Na-square ko na siya lahat. Nag-guess yun ba yung point? Minus ko lang isa-isa. So, square ko. Tapos, i-average mo lang siya. Average mo lang siya. So, 4 plus 49 plus... 484 plus 169 plus 304, it will yield, tapos i-divide mo siya sa kanya, and you will get the variance. The variance is 206. Kung papansinin mo, walang 206 sa ating options. Tama ba? So, walang sagot dito. Ang pinakamalapit is D, but the answer is 206. If ever you see 206 in the actual board, you would answer 206. And also, wait for a moment. So, may 206 na tayo dito. Gato yung isa ka, <clears throat> pa nating rules yan, guys. So, 206 na yan. Pag ang tanong naman, guys, ay standard deviation. Yung number 5. Standard deviation. Ang tanong ay variance. Walang sagot. Halimbawa, ang tanong ay standard deviation. You just have to square the variance. I square mo lang siya para makuha mo ang standard deviation. Kung ang tanong ay standard deviation, the square root of 206, that's 14.35. Kung standard deviation, ay variance ang tanong, 206 yan. Next. Which among measures of central tendency is not influenced by outliers? Not influenced by outliers. Okay. Ang hindi naapektuhan ng outliers ay ang mode that made it the most stable. What is not influenced? Mode. What is the most stable? Mode. What is the most stable, guys? Mode. What is not influenced? Mode. Maliwanag ba? What is the best to use? Mean. What is the best to use? Mean. What is the most stable? Mode. Anong pinaka-best? Mean. Most stable? Mode. What is not influenced? Mode. Kaya lang, ang mean, it is influenced by extremes. It is influenced by what? Extreme. Sobrang taas at sobrang baba. So, pag may sobrang taas at sobrang baba, ang gagamitin natin ay median. Maliwanag ba? Ulitin ko. What is not influenced by outliers? Mode. What is the most stable? Mode. What is the most, uh, what is affected by extreme scores? Mean. What is the best to use? Mean. Pag may extreme score, what do you use? Median. Take note of that. Okay? Next. 104. If a die is rolled, what is the probability of getting a number described by 2? Oh, question. Ilan ba ang face ng isang dice? Ilan ba ang face ng isang dice? Ang isang dice ay merong anim na, uh, anim na parts. Maliwanag ba? Anim na faces. Okay? Ilan daw ang, uh, ilan daw ang probability na lalabas yung number, yung number 2? Ilan ba yung number 2 doon? Isa lang. Tama ba ako? Am I right? Then therefore, what is the answer here? The answer here is 1-6. Isa sa anim na chances yon. Okay? The answer is 1-6. The answer is D. 135. Oh, how to get this? Averaging lang yan. So, i-add mo lang lahat. 75. Ilan ba yung 75? Dalawa. So, plus 75. Ilan ba yung 85? Apat. Plus 85. Plus 
85 plus 85 plus 85. So, apat na 85 siya. Okay? Plus 85. So, apat na 85, 75 divided by 6. Kasi anim silang lahat. Okay? Kasi divided by 6. Kung hindi nyo naman makuha yun, guys, kung hindi nyo makuha yun ng bonggam-bongga, pwede namang, ang gawin natin ay ganito na lang. <clears throat> okay? 75. Ilan ba yung 75? Dalawa times 2 plus, ilan yung 86? 86. O ilan ba siya? Apat. Over 2. And, and over 6. And you will yield the same answer. So the answer here is 82. If you compute that, the answer here is 82. Is that clear, guys? Very good. Okay. Next number, 136. Okay, sabi dito, um, in the example of 10 to the 5th power, okay, plus 6x, what is the exponent, guys? What is the exponent? The exponent is to the 5th. Tama ba? So 5. The answer here is B. Okay? That's it. That's 136. Next number. 137. Simplify this. If you have a calculator, you can just place this directly to your calculator using the open and close parenthesis. Kung ano nakasulat dyan, isulat nyo lang siya, lalabas din yun. So, kung wala ka namang dalang calculator, you just have to use the distributive method. Pag may open and close parenthesis, you have to multiply or multiply the the sign or the number beside them. For example, for this one, you have to multiply the negative to negative kasi nasa loob siya. Okay? For example, 6 minus, open parenthesis, 3 plus 4, plus 11, plus 8. Okay? And that is our formula. So, what do you do now? Distribute individually. 6 minus 3. Distribute dito. Minus 4. Kasi minus 4. Distribute minus 11. Distribute minus 8. And this is now your formula. You have to just compute them completely and it will yield negative 20. Okay? So, the answer here is day-day. Okay? This is day-day. Next number. Simplify the following. So, to simplify the following, you have to use factorial. What did I say, guys? Factorial. So, let's try 3x minus 12 over 3x over what? Over x minus 4. So, what to do here? What do you do here? So, basically, you have to factor this. Kailangan may ilabas mo yung x minus 4 dyan para makancel mo siya. x minus 4, okay? O, oh, ilabas mo yung 3. Tingnan natin kung tama. 3 times x, 3x. 3 times 4, negative 12. And that's it. Over 3x, over 3x, over x minus 4. Now, question. Can we cancel 3 now? Yes or no? Yes. Cancel 3. Cancel 3. Can we cancel x minus 4? Yes or no? Yes. Cancel. Cancel. Kasi pareho lang naman silang minus 4. Tama ba ako? So, naiwan x. Since nasa gitna siya, hindi x ang sagot natin. Kasi nasa baba siya o nasa gitna siya, lalagyan mo pa siya ng 1. So, ang sagot siya ay 1 over x. And that is your simplification. The answer is dead. Okay, next number, 139. Median again. You have to arrange them now from highest to lowest. O, ano ba yung pinaka-lowest or to lowest to highest? That's your 10. What else? O, pag sasasay natin na 10, what else? After 10, you have your 11. After 11, you have your 11. You 11. Ayan yung magsulat. Okay, ayan po. 11. Next will be your 12. Next, you have your 13. You have your 15. You have your uh, 17. 19. And 20. So, ano ba ang middle most number? 13 and 15. The answer here is 14. Okay? The answer here is 14. That is your median. Ang pinakagitang number ay 14. Next. Simplify. This is also a process, okay? This is also a process of factoring. So, basically, you have to factor. So, ang pag-factoring, kailangan mo kumuha ng lowest term para may ibawas sila sa loob. For example, 3x minus 9. So, how to do that? Ilabas mo yung 3? x minus 3. Tingnan natin tama. 3 times x, 3x. 3 times 3, 9. And that's it. And then, ihiwalay natin ito. x plus 3 times x minus 3. x times x, x squared, 3 times 3, 9. Cancel, cancel. What did you get? 3 over x plus 3. And this is letter B. Okay? The answer is blessing. 
141 prime factors. May mali sa question na to kasi walang sagot yan. Okay? Kailangan mo lagyan ng 5 sa dulo. So the answer is dede. Kahit hindi mo alam yung 5, yan pa rin ang sagot natin. Why? Pag sinabing prime factors, this is a number which cannot be divided by other numbers other than itself and 1. Aulitin ko. These are numbers which cannot be divided by other numbers except itself, itself, and then 1. Question, ang 2 ba pwede pa ma-define naman sa maliit? Hindi na. Ang 6 pwede pa ba? Yes, kaya nga hindi siya prime factor. Ang 2 ba pwede ma-divide? No. Ang 4 pwede ma-divide? Yes, so hindi rin siya prime factor. Ang 2 pwede ma-divide? No. Ang 3 pwede ma-divide? No. Ang 4 pwede ma-divide? Yes, it's not a prime factor. Ang 2 pwede ma-divide? Yes. Ang 3 pwede ma-divide? Ayun, ang 2 pwede ma-divide? No. Ang 3 pwede ma-divide? No, ang 5 pwede ma-divide. No, that's make letter D as the answer, as the prime factor. I will repeat because the prime factor is...